Okay guys, in this video we're going to be looking at Anthony Zuniga's essay, which was regarding the topic, right, an essay explaining how actions can be more powerful than words, okay? So there's a couple things Anthony does a great job in his essay in doing, okay, is number one, he clearly introduces his topic as well as he states his thesis statement very clearly in his last sentence of the introduction. Next, uh, Anthony does a phenomenal job with sentence variety, where he includes uh, simple compound and complex sentences as well as interrupters. So, uh, an excellent job in, in changing up his sentences. Uh, next, Anthony has two strong and very clear helps examples. Okay, he includes one from entertainment as well as an example from literature. So, a great job in, in using his helps. And lastly, is Anthony concludes very strongly. Okay, so all in all, Anthony's essay um, earned him a 4, which would allow him to earn the 24 out of the 24 uh, maximum points that he can earn on his star essay. Okay, so let's take a look at each of the sections of Anthony's uh, essay paragraphs. Okay, let's start first with the introduction. Okay, and it begins, most humans can easily apologize to someone by word of mouth, even if they don't actually mean what they say. The one and only way to show true remorse is by acting upon your mistakes. Actions are and always will be a better way to apologize than words. Okay, so what I've underlined are uh, two things that Anthony does a great job at. Okay, what you see underlined in blue is this is a very strong sentence because it's very clear. Okay, and he uses one word in here, the word remorse, which is an example of strong vocabulary. Okay, so Anthony does a great job of using, even if it's just one word, but that one word strengthens the sentence uh, to make it a better sentence. Okay, and next, in the last sentence of his introduction, Anthony clearly states his thesis statement. Okay, and a thesis statement we know is very simply the answer to your writing topic. Okay, so a great job in doing that. Okay, so take a few seconds here to reread through this introductory paragraph on your own. Okay, let's take a look at Anthony's body paragraph, okay? One example of a situation in which actions speak louder than words is a television show, My Name is Earl. In this show, Earl, an ex-delinquent who had a change of heart, goes around helping the people he has wronged. In some cases, Earl's victims held a grudge against him for what he has done. But Earl didn't give up. Showing true remorse by righting his wrongs, Earl was eventually forgiven. Another example of this is Mogul from the distance between us. Mogul, after putting up with her father's abuse for years, began to resent her father. And almost a decade later, when their father was on his deathbed, she realized she had done wrong. Instead of only going to apologize to Natalio, her father, Mago showed she cared. Lovingly, she began going to take care of him at the hospital. And in this form, she showed her true feelings. Okay? Two things I want to make note here. Okay? Is, number one is, Anthony does a great job in using transition words. One example. Another example. Okay? He uses those transition words, and he paragraphs. He separates his two helps examples so that it's very clear that these are two of course, separate examples, okay? So he, he uses transitions to allow us, the reader, to understand that he's going to provide an example, okay? So it signals to us that uh, each of these are two different helps, okay? Also, what I've underlined in light blue, okay, is this is one example of using an opener, which is a type of sentence variety, okay? So throughout the body paragraph, Anthony does a great job of changing up his sentence structures, okay? So this is Anthony's body paragraph, okay? Let's get to the last section of his essay. Okay, guys, lastly, okay, in his conclusion. Evidently, when asking for forgiveness, actions are much stronger than words. Actions show true remorse better than any amount of words could. And that's why actions are the more powerful of the two. Okay? 
So in this short conclusion, and I do ask that you guys keep it short because much of your effort is being spent in your body paragraph, okay? So what I love that Anthony does here is, number one, what I've underlined in green is he uses a good transition into his conclusion, okay? So he avoids the overused in conclusion. And I like how Anthony captures it in one word, one transition word, evidently, okay? The second thing that he does is what I've underlined in blue is he does a great job in revisiting the thesis from his introductory paragraph, okay? But notice he doesn't state it word for word exactly how he said it in his introduction, okay? is He tries to state it in a new way, okay? So Anthony does a great job of, of doing that to conclude his essay, okay? So overall, a great job from Anthony and... Continue to push yourselves, guys. Good luck.